Welcome back to the channel guys, Review It TV, coming in with another survival food video. We've been showing you guys some MRE videos in the past. Um, if you haven't seen them, check out the description box below. I'll shoot some links in there so you guys can check those videos out as well. We wanted to show you guys some alternative survival food today. Are you guys prepared? But no, are you guys ready to prepare yourself for a food shortage? There's a possibility there may be a time where you're able to not get through to the stores and get food for days. Could even be weeks or months, who knows? We can never depend on our law enforcement or our governments or anyone to give us actual legitimate information that could steer us through down the right path to be prepared for these types of uh, civil unrest or not even necessarily civil unrest, national disasters, things that mother nature could uh, um, take upon us as well. So with that being said, let's check out some of these food items that we have today and we'll taste test a bunch of these and uh, suggest uh, some of these items to you guys that you can put together for your own survival food packs, not just MREs. So let's go over a few of these different food items and food accessories, guys, that um, can be options that you guys may consider when you guys are putting together some survival food for yourselves. Um, I've been browsing around just looking at different things other than the traditional MREs. Showed you guys a few MREs like I mentioned before. Um, the videos that we did that had different types of uh, food items. This is a ready pack meal. This is one of the homestyle vegetable sauce for noodles and chicken. Comes with your traditional heater pack. Um, comes with a side item and like a smoothie. And then uh, of course your main meal. But we're not really focusing on those because we're going to have plenty of videos in the future on particular MREs and we've already done one on this so if you guys haven't seen that one check it out. Um, today we wanted to try one of the freeze dried uh, meals and then put together a few alternative food accessory items to give you guys the satisfaction in the meal you're looking for. Um, I'm going to choose out of the three different ones that I'm displaying today which is the uh, beef stroganoff with noodles. This one comes in a savory cream sauce with mushrooms and onions. And uh, once again, if you look at the expiration date on this, we're looking at 2050, so uh, that's a 30 year expiration date. Guys, um, these things last forever, so definitely a recommendation. As long as there's water available, then you should be able to cook these. Um, if you don't have canteens or things that you can bring, you can also bring uh, filtration devices to get water from rivers or whatever you would need if you were trying to eat this and were lacking water. This one is the chicken fried rice. This one comes with green peas, onions, carrots, and mushrooms. Same thing, uh, doesn't expire till November of 2050. Uh, the one we're gonna try today though, is one that I think would be one of my favorites. This is the beef stew. It comes with hearty gravy, beef, potatoes, carrots, and peas. We're gonna try that and we're gonna throw in a different food items. We'll end with a dessert uh, ice cream sandwich, freeze dried. This is the mint chocolate chip version. Um, these ones also don't, ex this one isn't quite as long as the actual meal. The freeze dried ice cream sandwich shows an expiration date of 2022. So these only last a few years, probably because of sugar and other uh, ingredients in there. Uh, I bought this. This is a Long Life Food Depot pack of uh, peanut butter and this actually comes in the chunky. This is supposedly a new item. This chunky version of the peanut butter wasn't always something that was an available item just because it might be possibly harder to get the peanut butter out when you're trying to squeeze it with chunks. But I myself would agree to disagree. So here's how it comes. It comes with lots of little packets and I can feel it. It feels really, really fresh. This is what it's looking like. Uh, total calories is 160, 13 grams of fat. Um, and inside these variety packs, you guys can see it just comes with a large amount of just tons of chunky peanut butter. So these are cool to order guys to keep on the side so you can take freeze dried food if you're not feeling the MRE. Sometimes the, the repetitive taste of an MRE all tastes the same. Um, it depends, you know, you get into some of the higher dollar MREs and you can get some more of the uh, competitive items in there. But when you're buying bulk and you're buying around the 70 to $80 range MREs, they typically have a lot of meals that although are different, taste the same. So these are good alternatives if you're tired of the MRE scene and you want to be able to just have some different stuff. These are all different things that are currently available. Um, as far as the breads go guys, um, they come in boxes of 12. There's just all kinds of different flavors. I got marble pound cake. Um, let's see, that's another marble. And I don't have them all here. That's another marble. We got the lemon poppy, uh, lemon poppy, 
uh, vanilla pound cake. There's just a, a bunch of different ones. I just packed a few of the same. Didn't really put it in any particular order. But guys, keeping all these extra pound cakes and things around uh, can really make a good mixture for your meal. So now look, we've, we have something to eat along with the beef stew. We can pull out the marble pound cake or we can actually use the crackers and then have that as one of the sides. And you can even put some chunky peanut butter on your marble pound cake. You can down it with an ice cream freeze dried sandwich. So with that being said, let's look at some of the other items here. We have um, things to consider, teas can take you these little tiny containers. My wife took me over to the home store the other day and we were able to find these cool little uh, containers. They actually uh, work really well and they have clips on them. This is kind of like a featured item we'll show you guys today. I like to keep some Earl Grey myself, guys, tea. Um, I like coffee and tea. It's winter time right now, currently still, so we're trending in the 30s to 50s, depending on the uh, weather surrounding us that week or day, I should say. Um, other things to consider when making your meals is uh, this MRE uh, beverage-based raspberry. They come in like lemon, raspberry, uh, probably, I don't know if they come in grape or strawberry or cherry, but um, some of the common flavors are like raspberry and lemon. So you guys can bring these types of beverages if you're not uh, wanting to drink just coffee and tea all the time. Um, other things that I consider to bring is either, if you're not someone that likes sweet coffee, you can get these uh, Nescafe uh, Taster's Choice packets and it's a single cup um, of instant coffee. It comes black. So if you're going to want to take black coffee and not have the three-in-one mixtures that a lot of these come with, you may consider just taking a little container of uh, some of your creamer. This is the uh, Delight French Vanilla. So it's easy to pack a lot of these little things. You can take your little tiny uh, tub like I have back here. This is one of the uh, coolers I've been showing you guys in previously in some of the other MRE videos. I can fit a lot of this stuff in there and take it on the trip with me. Um, one of the other items that you can take along with the dark coffee is of course these. They come in uh, three in one packets in Nescafe. Um, they're ready to go guys. They taste like it has uh, sweetener, creamer, all the, all the above and that. All in one. So we're going to go ahead and work with some of these items in the taste testing that we're going to do today. We'll uh, try some of these crackers with the beef stew and then we'll get a few different beverage drinks going and then we have some peanut butter and pound cake. So uh, let's get ready to do this. All right, so guys, we'll put the meal to the side for a second. Let's prep some water uh, for the beef stew and then for our coffee. And then uh, we'll get some crackers ready to go too. Um, <clears throat> I do have a featured item today what we're gonna use um, as far as heating up the water and I'll show you a couple things that come inside this featured item. Uh, as far as uh, opening our can, it's good to keep one of these around. You can find them at your local sports stores. Sportsman's Warehouse carries these, a couple dollars for a couple of them. These are the uh, traditional old school can openers uh, made from carbon steel and they're nickel plated, so stay sharp for years. They work great for opening these if you don't have electricity to use your electric can opener. <clears throat> um, as far as this little kit goes, as far as making this, I picked up this kit on Amazon. This kit comes with a wee little spoon. Arr. Oh, what the heck was that? Was that supposed to be a small pirate? But anyways, a wee little spoon. And then cool, comes with a lid, I guess that goes there. And then we have, oh shoot. Look at that, guys. Look at that little tiny coffee pot. Not even a coffee pot, but a hot water pot. It has some other things inside of it. Got to show you guys this as we're getting our food prepared. Um, comes with a pot to heat up stuff in. If we weren't going to use the bag to heat it up, we would use these pots, which are kind of cool. You got a frying pan as well for this particular kit. Link in the description below if you guys want this kit to be able to use. So it comes with both of those pots. It does have a lid for your cook pot your frying pan. Here's a lid that would go to your actual hot water pot. Cool little tiny handle. Um, we have some little tiny containers to use, which are cool because if you're gonna make this for two, which actually this is a serving for two guys, so 
if you're gonna make this uh, for you and your significant other, then uh, basically you'll have enough uh, and you'll have little serving bowls that aren't so big, so not so many dishes to clean up. Uh, in this particular little kit too, it comes with these little silverware items and they have little folding handles, like there's your fork. It's made of stainless steel, so pretty cool stuff. Works well, you get a fork, a spoon, and they're all made of metal, no plastic, and a shank. No, I'm just kidding, it's a butter knife. So, <clears throat> looks like a little sponge for cleaning your actual silverware and bowl. I don't know how good that's gonna last, but. Also, a dipping spoon. In case you didn't wanna reach in here and pour it out, you could just take some scoops, Put it in your bowls and voila. So we're gonna share this today when we go to eat it. We'll get rid of some of these items and come back to you when it's time to start the food. Okay guys, so let's make some hot water uh, for the meal and for the beverage. Uh, whether it's tea or coffee we choose, we'll, we'll make a decision in a minute. I'm gonna use two different stoves today, guys. <clears throat> if you've watched the previous videos, as I've mentioned, you'll see these stoves that work cooking some of our food and stuff. This one takes tablets, folds up just like that. I use pie pans to place my stoves on for tabletop reasons. I'd recommend with these types, guys, if you're using these little uh, fuel pellets, that you only start with two. Sometimes three can get the flame going a little bit too high, which will actually cause it to uh, flame up over the top of your pot and it can melt these types of plastic uh, components on your stuff. So be careful with those. <clears throat> what I want to try is to light this with this little kit. This little kit that I just showed you with the pots and the dishes and the silverware comes with a little fire starter too. And I've actually never even really used this guys. Um, comes with the fire starting stick and then the little scraper I guess to cause the sparks. <clears throat> I'm spoiled so that's what it looks like. It's a smaller version. Um, I'm spoiled, but I want to see what it's like to get this thing started. So let's try it out guys. See if I can get it. And just like that, that's cool. So guys, these would be cool. You can get the little fire starting. Uh, it's like string or like a cotton or something. And what you would do is you would take it and you would put it in between the little sticks that you were gonna use. And then uh, that little spark that you seen that lit that would be sufficient enough to actually start the fire if you were gonna use wood and you were outdoors. So pretty cool little item. You've seen it work. If you don't have a lighter, that's the alternative. It's not gonna be the same for this one. This one, however, and I'll swap places. And what I can do, when I start the water in my bigger pot, this one's gonna take a little bit longer than the smaller one, so I'll go ahead and get this to roll in. 64 ounces of water, guys. I've mentioned this before in some of my other MRE videos. But that should be enough to be able to cook the freeze-dried beef meal. We'll put that on there. Like I say, look on the bottom, kind of, until you get used to how you're going to keep that up there. Get that flame a little bit hotter. Um, get some water in this one, too. This one's much smaller. This would be sufficient if you guys were just making, like, some coffee or whatnot. So uh, we're going to try this smaller little teapot. Pretty cool. I think it's neat. You can look inside and just fill it up so you're at the bottom of that neck. That way it doesn't leak out. Put that on there. The difference between the two guys is this one doesn't whistle. You'll just see it steaming. This one whistles. Um, now, for this, if I had matches, which I don't have with me, I would use that to actually uh, start the fire with this. But since I don't have the matches, I'm just going to go ahead and use my lighter. Um, you can see how quick they start up. It doesn't take much to get this thing going either. Just a few seconds of your lighter. Um, it'll eventually pass on to the other tablet. And we can just stick this little guy right up there like that. And then we can just stick these off to the side for a minute and let those heat up. And then while that's heating up, we can go ahead and 
get the food ready. Let's see what this uh, freeze dried food looks like um, before we even pour any water in it. And I don't even see a tear line on this, of course. Why would there be? Oh, here we go. All the way down, it's just really down low. Oops. All right, Ziploc. So guys, if you haven't seen what this looks like, then uh, that's what it looks like ahead of time, and that's the beef stew. Um, with a hearty gravy with beef, potatoes, carrots, and peas. Comes looking kind of funky like some stuffing. That's what we're gonna put our hot water in. Um, I think today out of the three that I've already showed you, the tea, the three-in-one coffee, or the dark, I'm going to go with the tea today. I've been doing coffee lately and I'm ready for some tea. So we'll do the Earl Grey, which is the traditional tea I like to get um, when I uh, buy teas. I'll just adjust that a little bit. So you guys, you can see how good that uh, these little stoves work. Uh, your high pressure burner, if you turn it up, is gonna boil in two to three minutes. This one can take a little bit longer. Um, when you're done, if you're not done, if the tablets are still going, but you're done using the burner, uh, you're probably just gonna have to dump some water on that to put it out or just let it burn out naturally. They will burn out by themselves. Let's look at the other uh, items that we have. So we'll put the dessert off to the side for a minute. We have these crackers. Let's open these crackers up, guys. I've never had this particular brand of pilot crackers. This could take a little while to do. That's how you get it in there, just like that. Then you kind of just do this number. And you gotta go around the whole can like this. So get a good grip and until you get the hang of this, it's not gonna be that easy, guys. You gotta use a little bit of thumb pressure and look at that. All right, guys, we're almost there. Pretty cool stuff here, this thing's pretty sharp. There it is. I bet you these crackers are gonna be a little broken up. And I was right. Fresh packet. Is this salt? What is that? Harmless, nope, absorbent. Look at that, guys. Wow. They're all kind of broken up, but. They still taste good. What do these remind me of? Um, I'm not sure, honestly. It's only the top cracker that's broken, guys. If you go down below, there's the whole crackers that are still intact. It's just shipping on these can cause them to break up a little bit. These are probably gonna go really good with the beef stew. Sometimes with beef stews, people have items such as cornbread or biscuits or something to go with your beef stew. So this is gonna be our dried biscuits, canned biscuits. We'll have our pound cake. We'll put a little bit of chunky peanut butter on that for the sweetness, and we'll have make our tea. So once the water's done, we'll get everything else started. Wow, guys, I'm kind of impressed. I don't have this up that high. If I would have turned it up higher, it would have cooked faster or been done. But look at this one. This is off of just the natural little tablets in the burn stove. This is burning. I can feel it bubbling in there. It's not burning, but it's boiling, I should say. I'm gonna set that down there off to the side, and then that's what the tablets look like. You can continue to just stay warm if it's cold. It's uh, been uh, pretty chilly out here where we're at, um, in the 30s to 50s, so that feels good. This one will whistle. Um, let's go ahead and make our tea. Let's get the beverage ready. Perfect. Still got a little bit of water left over too, guys. All right, guys, it's finally boiling. Wow, this guy was able to heat up that little bit of water faster than the high pressure with a little bit more water. We'll let that sit for just a second. Let's go ahead and make something to drink to go with our tea, something cold. We're gonna use this uh, beverage-based raspberry. I'm gonna just let you guys know off the top of my head that I wouldn't pour it all in there. Um, I've had this drink before, and the powder is artificially uh, sugared, so it's probably like a saccharin or something, but I would just pour a little bit in there at a time. Not even half the pack, honestly. This thing just, uh, it will definitely be potent. 
Um, and then the water to go with my freeze dried food. Let's see how this tastes. Sometimes I don't get this mix right. It's kind of a trial and error thing with this, but it is something to have that's a little bit sweet and cold. Mm. Just the way I like it. And these crackers are delicious to go with it. So, let's go ahead and get some hot water inside of this. And then you guys can see right there. All right, let's go ahead and put some water in there. I'm just gonna pour that in there like so. You don't wanna put too much in at a time. You wanna mix it in too, a little bit at a time. One thing you always wanna make sure to get out is that guy. Do not eat, oops. But, there you go. So don't remember when you guys are getting these to take out the little absorbing packet. That didn't do nothing to us for just now when we poured it in there. It's getting kind of thick already. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water to it. You can see that some of the powder is not quite absorbed. Don't go too much at a time, guys. It tells you kind of where to do it, but I like mine textured the way I like it, not the way they want me to do it. And then you can kind of just mix that in there. Look how luscious that looks. Dang, I can smell that, and that smells delicious. Um, kind of a mush, but you want to let it sit for a little bit. We'll zip that up. And then we'll just go ahead and let it absorb the rest of the water in there. I still have a little bit of hot water left if I want to go ahead and uh, use that if I don't like the way it tastes. Um, let's check out the pound cake. And I'll keep this actually off to the side in case I decide I want a second glass of raspberry drink. Uh, we have the marble pound cake. This one to be specific has 300 calories in it. It's 14 grams of fat. See what it looks like guys. I haven't had one of these ones. I've had the poppy lemon and uh, that one was delicious, but I haven't had one of these. And a lot of these products all come with these little absorbing packets. So make sure you guys get those out. You don't want to take a bite of that. That would kind of taste disgusting. Um, look at that. Look at the marbling in this thing guys. Zoom in on that. Wow. Look at that. Looks really delicious. It's got a great texture. Oh yeah. It smells beautiful. It smells like that angel cake with a touch of chocolate. Let's see what the center of this looks like. Delicious, guys. Delicious. I think it looks awesome. I think that's gonna be a wonderful touch to uh, this particular meal. Let's, um, let's look at the peanut butter too. We'll just put the peanut butter out and uh, if we wanna use it, we can. A little bit tough to open, but we'll get it. This is the chunky peanut butter, guys. If you watched my last video, we did a an MRE, which was about eight years old. We were interested to see what it looked like, even though it was expired. Uh, it came with some peanut butter, similar to this. Definitely wasn't like this one. You can tell fresh peanut butter when you get it. Now I understand what they were saying about when you're trying to get the chunky out, you can feel the little chunks of peanut butter kind of, it's hard to get it out, but we'll make it work. Mm. That tastes really fresh, guys. That's gonna go good. Um, the alternative is going to be the crackers with the beef stew, which we're gonna dump it out and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Um, it's probably almost done. I'm gonna give it another minute or so. Uh, let me see if I can get one of these whole crackers out, kind of. It's, they're kind of hard to get out, guys. It's no wonder they break. But look, we can get this guy out. Oh, kind of shattered. But you can see the whole crackers in there. It's usually just the top couple that shatter. You can eat those like you would like a snack. Mmm. That tastes wonderful. They're not too bland and they're not too dry. They wash down great with that raspberry. Um, let's try some with some peanut butter. Let's see how this chunky peanut butter is, guys. <clears throat> Spreads nicely. Looks wonderful. Smells and tastes great. Wow, this is probably fresher than the peanut butter I get inside of uh, containers at the store when I buy it. Mmm. Delicious. I'm the type of person that could 
Just get a pack of saltines and then put like peanut butter and jelly on them for a snack. Like, this is delicious. Those pilot crackers really go well with this peanut butter. Definitely a good selection to start the meal with. I'm gonna pour some of this down. I might even use some of those crumbs to go on my beef stew. You guys, after you pour it out. Okay, let's check out the main course. Let me put my drinks off to the side here. You guys can hear that motor? That's another one of the beasts here in the background. My neighbor has one too, so. So look at it guys, it almost looks like a stuffing first impressions. Um, it cooked up really well though, look at that texture. That texture is wonderful. It has chunks of beef, little chunks of potatoes, carrots, peas. Has a wonderful looking gravy. Let's pour this out so we can actually see it all. Wow, this is, this is awesome guys. And this is supposed to be enough for two people. It, it actually looks like it's enough for you and your uh, significant other. Keep in mind guys, Adventure Meals, Mountain House, that's what we're using today. Expiration date of 30 years, just a little bit of water. Uh, calories per serving is 200, total containers 400 calories. Um, let's, let's try this out guys. I've been waiting to anxiously try this and you see that we added our own crackers. Uh, uh, marble cake. We have peanut butter to go with the crackers um, and then we have the beef stew. So let's try this beef stew on one of our cool little new spoons here. That smells wonderful guys. It literally smells like a beef pot pie. I don't want to burn my mouth though. As hungry as I am because I haven't ate all day. Mmm. Wow, that was totally delicious. I might have been able to let it sit for just another couple more minutes of a tiny bit more water, but still, it's not even bad right now. Mm. And these biscuits taste delicious with it. Mmm. Mmm. The carrots definitely stick out in flavor. They taste fresh. The gravy almost reminds me of a, a gravy from the Salisbury steak meals. It doesn't taste like Salisbury steak, but it has a gravy texture like that. The peas are still really intact and they, they mush down smoothly. The potatoes are not hard to uh, miss. They have a wonderful taste to them. They still taste fresh. And overall guys, it. It looks like a mush, but it's really, really good. Mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a pause. Wouldn't be right if I didn't share some of this with my loyalist cameraman. Like I said, this is this is enough for two people. Cameraman, cheers. So. I'm gonna finish that up. You wanna take some of these dry crackers, put them inside like that, mix it around. And this is gonna be a hearty meal, guys. <clears throat> it's wonderful. I really do like the freeze dried food. I would even consider buying a commercial freeze drying machine and actually try freeze drying my own food. If I was out in the woods, I've talked about this in my previous videos. My brain receptors being satisfied with food that'll keep me feeling full and uh, will keep me focused during the day or whatever it is I'm engaged in. Um, I'm telling you, food makes all the difference. People can be hangry, they lose focus, they're miserable, you eat. Ready to go. You know what I wanna try? Or a little bit of this peanut butter on a piece of my cake. Look at that. That thing spreads so nicely, guys. That's wonderful. That's a heck of a dessert to have. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. 
this tea, that marble cake with peanut butter. And Earl Grey is my favorite. <clears throat> it's the only tea I like without sugar and milk. Just plain by itself. So guys. I'm, I'm hooked on this. I actually like this little setup today. Better than I like sometimes MREs. And I would definitely buy it. And considering the fact that you get 50 year expert or 30 year, I'm sorry. 2050 is the date for expiration of this particular meal. But 30 years, that's a long time. I'd be interested to wait like 15 years and then come back and cook it. And just to see how it would actually come out, age 15 years. But as it stands right now, guys, this is absolutely delicious for what it is. The raspberry beverage, it helps to rinse down the drier foods. Peanut butter can dry you out a little bit. How was that, cameraman? Awesome. And cameraman, guys, sharing is caring. It's my slogan. I don't eat a whole lot, but I like to share. Everyone should feel full and happy. Mm. And even after that, guys, we still have the final dessert. As you can see, I cleaned my plate. <clears throat> and Everything fits together great. So guys, real quick, freeze dried beef stew, pilot crackers in the can, Amazon. Raspberry beverage drink, comes in a big bag of like 30 of them, Amazon. The peanut butter packs, chunky peanut butter. Either your coffee black, add a little bit of creamer, Three and one, I chose the Earl Grey tea today. So, let's get to dessert. All right guys, there's only one thing left and that's the dessert, the ice cream freeze dried chocolate mint sandwich. I've tried a regular one, but I haven't tried the mint chocolate chip, so I'm not quite sure how this one's gonna taste, but that's how it comes guys. Just a simple expiration date 2022 and the year is 20, 21 right now, so we got a year on these guys. So if you're gonna have these, I wouldn't buy them in bulk per se. I'd buy them for your particular events so they don't go bad. It'd be a waste of money. They're about three to four dollars a piece. Here's the unwrapping. Look at that, guys. <clears throat> that is crazy. Can you believe that? Freeze dried ice cream sandwich. Smells great. It's just, it blows my mind that it's. They're able to freeze dry ice cream. Like, I don't know, is there something I'm missing here or can they really just freeze dry ice cream? Try it out, man. Let's see. Hmm. Same texture as the originals. It's not overpoweringly minty guys. That's awesome. In fact, I like this one better than the original because it just gives it a little bit better of a flavor than the vanilla. The vanilla freeze dried is cool, but it's not this cool. I like the mint chocolate chip. They're hard. The cookie is still fresh. I wonder what would happen if we added water to one of these. Would it just blow up like a freeze dried ice cream sandwich? I don't know, am I supposed to? <laughs> Are you supposed to add water to this? Or you just eat it? Ready to eat, no drip, no mess. Hmm. I guess it's just ready to eat like that. With your tea or your coffee. I am more than satisfied with today's meal. 
If I was Cisco and Eva, I'd give it two thumbs up, but I'm not, so I'm gonna give it one thumbs up and no thumbs down. <clears throat> I like the mix. If you guys like anything you've seen in the video, from food to the cooking accessories, check out the description box, man. I'm gonna drop you guys some links. I'm gonna help you guys out. I was amazed at this little stove today. Crazy that it was able to heat up the water significantly faster. Uh, and you can see the pellets just burn away and that's it. Not much of a cleanup, just fold it up, put it away. And of course, you know, you can take apart your little burner real quick. But uh, yeah, it's cool to have a couple um, variations of cooking um, stoves and stuff so you can cook at the same time simultaneously, make stuff get done faster. I want to just thank you guys first and foremost for tuning in today, checking out our grub ideas. Guys, it's no joke. It's rough out there. I can smile all I want, and that's truly my mentality, but things are kind of scary. Uh, food, food can be scary. Who knows if we'll have an all of a sudden shortage, uh, and it could be weeks before you actually can get back in. And then even then, lines are gonna be out the door again like we've seen in the past year with COVID. So <clears throat> if you have extra dollars, I would suggest lining yourself up with some extra little cookwares and uh, some freeze-dried foods and some MREs and, you know, canned crackers. This was impressive. I really dig these guys. Cool item. Gonna buy some more of those. Um, the peanut butter that we showed you guys, the cakes, all that stuff is available. You can buy it, store it, make your own meals, swap out stuff, snacks, whatever. If you're going on hunting trips, you want to go out in the mountains for two days, you can easily pack a couple meals. They put together wonderfully. And they're easy to prepare with the water and the stoves. Um, and if you're not using the stoves, then you might have your little heaters if you're using MREs. Nevertheless, check out the rest of the channel. We have a bunch of videos. We have uh, future videos coming up with the beast over here. Everything kind of uh, incorporates together in a sense. Um, next video on here was the uh, roof video. So if you guys are getting one of these uh, Maverick X3s, uh, turbos and you want to get a, a roof that's a little more inexpensive than a hard roof look for that video We're also doing the chase lights on this uh, beast as well So um, if you're not just an MREs and you want to see some of those side-by-side -side videos check out those videos on the channel I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Thanks for all my uh, loyal subscribers and any future subscribers I look forward to seeing you guys on the channel. Thanks for watching <laughs>